Novak Djokovic versus Yannick Sinner is the first semi-final for the men's Wimbledon title for 2023. Both players have been impressive to get to this stage. Sinner entered the tournament as the number eight seed and will take on Sarundalo in the first round. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-2, 6-2. In the second round, he take on Schwartzman. And again, this was no problem getting through in straights. 7-5, 6-1, 6-2. Third round, he take on Alice, who'd been very impressive by beating Evans along the way. And after dropping the first set of the week, Sinner would fight back to win in four. 3-6, 6-2, 6-3, 6-4. In the fourth round, he'd take on the unseated Gallon, who had just come off a five-setter in the previous round. And with Sinner under pressure more than he had been all week, he would fight back to win a tough three-setter, 7-6, 6-4, 6-3, to advance to another Wimbledon quarterfinal. To quarterfinals, Sinner would take on the unseated Sefulin, who had been very impressive to take it this far. And after dropping the second set, Sinner would fight back in four, 6-4, 3-6, 6-2, 6-2, to advance to his first Grand Slam semifinal. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Cashin in the first round. There's no problem for Nole, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3, 7-6. In the second round, he'd take on Thompson. And again, no problem for Nole, getting through in straights, 6-3, 7-6, 7-5. In the third round, he'd take on Stan Bavrinka, his old enemy at the slams. But Djokovic was on another level on grass, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-1, 7-6. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 17 seed, Hubi Hercatch, who hadn't dropped a set all week. After saving set points in the first set, Djokovic would fight back to win, 7-6, 7-6, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number seven seed Rublev, a man that he beat up at the Australian Open a couple of months ago. But after dropping the first set, Djokovic would have to fight back to win 4-6, 6-1, 6-4, 6-3 to advance to another Wimbledon semi-final. These guys have played twice before with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 2-0, but they did play a five-setter this time last year at Wimbledon with Sinner winning the first two sets and Djokovic fighting back to win. So it'll be very interesting to see if Sinner has improved more in the last 12 months to get that extra set to take the win this time. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to serve well, and he needs to be aggressive. We've seen Rublev and Hercatch win a couple of sets against Djokovic in the last couple of matches because of the serve and also the aggression. Sinner's going to have to put those together. Also, he's going to have to be consistent to rally with Djokovic, maybe even mix it up and come to the net. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to get off to a good start. He didn't get off to the greatest start against Sinner last year, but also against Rublev in his quarterfinal matchup. He didn't have that great first set. He played really sloppy, had to recover. He needs to get off to a good start and try and get Sinner off guard at the start and maybe get him a little bit scared as well because losing the first set in the slam semi-final can be a daunting task against a GOAT. It's such a fun matchup. It's great to see Sinner finally getting to that semi-final. I know he's young, but he finally gets there. He's been around for a while. And Djokovic just doing what he does at Wimbledon. I think Djokovic is going to win this one in four sets. I just think that Djokovic at this level, and especially after what happened last year, he's not going to let that happen twice. And Sinner's been great getting to his first semi-final. Won't be his last. But I think Djokovic is going to be too much winning in four. Let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.